Okay, think about this. I want to talk about the sign of Jonas. All right, so you're familiar with Jonas. He was in the belly of the well for three days, and the Lord delivered him. All right, and so let's go to, we could go to any of these verses here. Matthew 12, Matthew 16, Luke 11. Let's just go to 12. And uh, it, Jesus says this wicked and adulterous generation somewhere. An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign. And there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Now this is interesting because these guys are asking, hey, show us a sign. Well, didn't he just show them a sign? Uh, he was healing people. And they were all amazed at what he was able to do. And they, they didn't believe he was the Messiah. And they were asking, I mean, that wasn't enough. He was showing them things that can only be from God. And it wasn't enough. They wanted to see a sign. And Jesus says, an evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Alright, so essentially the only sign is for the unsaved is the Lord Jesus he is <clears throat> excuse me he is the the only hope to be delivered from this world so I just want to give you an example see if this helps at all so like on September 11 I'm not saved and I'm thinking you know I wake up and I see this on the news and I'm thinking about how wicked this world is and I'm reflecting back on 1993 and it was crazy everything that leading up to what happened on this day you know what the things that were happening that concluded on that day I'm just absolutely tragic this was handled in the worst way possible in my opinion no matter how sinful you think those people were that were in there, the sin of them that um, judged them was greater, right? So anyways, and then of course 1995. I mean these are all examples of how wicked and corrupt this world is. And there is no hope in this world. There is no hope in, in myself, right? So this is what I'm thinking, is that I can't change the world to make it a better place, and I can't even change myself. I need a Savior. All right, that's the sign that's been given to them that are not saved, is that they have a Savior. They have somebody that can deliver us from this wicked world. All right, and think about it this way. You're not saved and you're thinking about the world. You should see, because of all these things, that this world cannot and will not sustain itself. You need somebody to deliver you out of this world. Just as Jonas needed somebody, needed God, to deliver him from the belly of hell. The good news is we have somebody that can do that for us. In fact, he's already done it himself, and he's promised that he will do it for us if we believe in him. And that's it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And so, you're looking for a sign? Well, these... What kind of sign? This isn't going to tell you that Jesus is the Christ, what it's going to tell you is that the world is 
beyond repair and you need somebody to deliver you out of this world and of course the good news is we have that somebody and it's the Lord Jesus Christ alright it's just a thought let me know what you think